it's also the home of my next guest. He is a self-described Southern gentleman and father of two. His youngest is in high school. Like a lot of girls her age, she loves Taylor Swift and being with friends. A lot of us do. She's also trans. Now, I know a lot of people feel strongly about this topic. I get it. But for any parent watching, please take a moment, any human watching, take a moment to hear this father's story with an open heart. So everybody, please welcome Jeff. Thank you. Liver. <laughs> so good to meet you, Jeff. So tell us about your family. I'm originally from Georgia. I moved to Alabama. Um, right after my son was born, I have a son who's 22 years old. He is a, an MP in the National Guard. Uh, and then I have a daughter, Harley, who's 16 years old. Uh, and when she was born, you know, I think early on growing up, you know, it was just, she was just different than her brother. It's, you know, kids are always different, but she was very different, you know, where he liked to dig in the dirt, she liked to dress up or wear makeup or paint her nails. And uh, so anyway, I love my kids. Yeah. Were you concerned at first? Because being in the South, like I grew up in the South, it's not an easy place to stand out. Yeah, uh, you know, I don't know that concerned is the right word, right? I, I just, I realized that things were different for Harley. Hmm. Um, she loved to paint her nails and she would go to preschool and kids would pick on her. Well, you know, I didn't like that. Yeah. And so we went and we looked on the internet and we found guys who had their nails painted. So the big one at the time, Johnny Depp as Captain Jack Sparrow. Yes. I, all the kids You ain't Johnny high. Depp. That's amazing. Exactly. Yes, it's awesome. And so we put out pictures so she could take them to school and show people and say, look, here's, here's a guy with his nails painted. So the kids were like, oh, that's fine. You know, I don't Rock know that all. it was that. Yeah. It, it, yeah. I love that. I love that. Just a simple thing. This is huge. This is huge, I think, right. because kids just need to feel like they're loved by their yeah. parents and supported. And then, so you give a resource. You, she um, she takes it to the kids, and it's like, okay, cool. Right. That's like a little thing that's I it's think huge. Simple, right? but a huge impact. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, what did what did you do next, though? Because I, I imagine it wasn't an easy journey. Well, it time. wasn't. It, it was really difficult. Uh, so what we did, we, first, first we went to our trusted pediatrician because, you know, as her mother and I started looking on the internet and figuring out what does it mean to be transgender, what do we need to be doing to support our kid, you know, and the pediatrician was like, you know what, I'm going to send you to the children's clinic in Birmingham. So it's about a two-hour drive from us. Um, and I can remember going to that first appointment and just, I felt like the weight of the world was my, on my shoulders, right? I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what these doctors mm -hmm. were going to say and what they were going to do. And, and what you saw at the time, you know, this has been five or six years ago now. Uh, there just wasn't a lot of information. Uh, but we went, and, and I, I tell people all the time, I wish all healthcare in America looked like that first appointment. Mm -hmm. The doctors were so attentive to Harley. It, it was about her, and it was about comforting us and, and really spending time with us and helping us understand that, hey, this is very researched medical care. This has got a lot of information behind it. There's a lot of, you know, all the major American medical associations support and have guidelines for this. And it turned out to be incredible, right? This, this is my kid, and so I'm here for her. And it comes down to love. It comes down to love. Well, Jeff's daughter, Harley, is here. She's never met Laverne before, so this is exciting. We're going to hear her story as well as how she's working with her dad to bring change. So is this kind of a big deal, meeting oh Laverne? Oh, my God, it's the biggest <laughs> deal. Uh, like, whenever I first came out and started looking up, like, trans things, you're one of the first, like, trans figures in the media I met. And so, like, meeting you, you're one of my biggest role models transitioning. So it's so awesome. Oh. It really is. Powerful. Well, tell us about you. So I'm Harley, this is my dad. Um, I'm 16, I'm a junior in high school, and like a few things about me, I, like mentioned earlier, I'm a huge Swifty. I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> Woo! Um, we saw her in April at the Eras Tour. Oh my um, god. So, and Looking it, fabulous. I yes. love it, the fringe. That was yeah. awesome. Um, I'm on the debate team. Um, I love to argue so much. Um, so I bet that's fun yeah. at home, oh, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> um, that's where I met my big group of friends, and we, you know, just hang out around town in Auburn. Um, and yeah, it's a cool time. I'd just like to say that, you know, like, I'm your average teenage girl. And I think that's, like, so important to share my you story. You think that gets lost on people? Yeah, especially, you know, I came out at the 
the end of elementary school. And so whenever I first um, like was coming out like in public, I was in middle school. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, that's so already awful. a horrible time for like all students. Puberty, you know? man. Yeah, what? puberty. Yeah. Um, you know, and so whenever I would go to school, I was like severely bullied for being trans. Um, I didn't really have a big support system from the school either. Mm. Um, and so it was just, I didn't really have anybody to go to or to talk to or have a resource to talk about these things. So my parents had to pull me out of school um, that year and we had to go online um, in sixth grade. Um, and while that was horrible, I think finding that support system um, with groups like PFLAG, with like a GSA, um, Gender Sexuality Alliance at school, um, like we have at our high school, finding those resources um, led me to be the happy trans person I am today. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that also gets lost. You know, we're trans, but we're also happy, thriving individuals. We don't just survive, we survive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, I, I think a lot of what gets painted in the stories that you see in the media, especially in the conservative media, is that trans people are miserable in their lives. Mm -hmm. and, and I do a lot of work um, with PFLAG and, and with youth. That is so far from the truth. You know, I look, at, I look at my kid and she's happy and thriving and doing all these incredible things, but I work with a lot of kids that, that don't have as much support, but they also, they have these pockets where they're just teenagers and they're just kids and they, they just, that's all they wanna right. be and they're happy. So that that picture that all trans people are miserable couldn't be further from the fact. Is this one of the reasons you feel like is so important that y'all are advocating for families like yours? Yeah, it's the biggest reason for us. Um, you know, coming from a conservative area um, and in light of like recent years, the past two years, there's been a lot of anti-transgender legislation mm -hmm. um, and rhetoric in the media. Um, and our state of Alabama was one of the first states to pass and introduce these anti-trans bills. Um, Which has to hurt. It's, That's your it's home. horrible. Yeah. You know, those officials are elected to represent everyone, including trans people, and for them to attack us was horrible. And so we felt that um, because we, I had the privilege of having such a supportive family, um, and we knew we could share our story, so we went out um, to you know media um, over the past few years. We've been to D.C. several times, you know, just sharing our story. Uh, this summer, I testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee. But you are so young to do uh, that. Would terrify me. I was the youngest person to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Oh my um, gosh. So it was scary, but also it was like where I was like almost thriving. Cause well, you love debate. I love debate. debate. Yeah, I was like, wait. Um, you know, and I've like been watching C-SPAN for years in politics, and that's what I want to do whenever I grow older. So like, oh, that's know. incredible. Yeah. yeah. Especially to be representing right. the trans community in that sense too. So yeah. Being able to share my story, and because a lot of trans people can't at such a national level, and like at this show, at the Kelly Clarkson show, <laughs> being able to share my story has been so rewarding. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm over here crying, and I'm, and, it, and they're happy tears. They're, they're, they're complicated tears. I'm, I love. Thank you so much for thank sharing you. your story. Thank you so much for supporting your child. This is, this is, you know, I, I yes, I want to be an actor, but like, with the platform I have, this is what I dream of. I dream of having, seeing young people getting to thrive and be themselves and have space and that their parents who will support them. And when I think about you being bullied, this beautiful spirit, like they, who would bully this girl? <laughs> and uh, it's 87% of trans kids are bullied in school. It's right. horrible and awful, mm. but this light is so beautiful. Right. And when there is love and support, we can do anything. So it's just like, how can people look at this young person and deny her humanity? And yeah. so I just wish that everybody had this. Yeah. Um, completely agree. And I mean, you want to say anything? You're dead, man. This is a cool relationship y'all got going on. Yeah, I mean, you know, me coming out and I'm like 10 or 12 years old, um, saying I'm trans, you know, we didn't really know what that meant at the time. For you to like, just put your full support behind me, like as a parent, <sighs> means so much. <laughs> well, before we go, we want to give a big shout out to P Flag who supported Jeff and Harley through this journey for 50 years. They've advocated for the LGBTQ plus <laughs> community. For more info, head to the Kelly Clarkson Show Instagram.